Every day is a new day. Every opportunity a new possibility. Happiness is just hanging around your doorstep. Grab it, smile at it and welcome it into your life. Let's draw happiness. Hello and welcome to Colum Porter's Draw Happiness. I'm your host Bhargavi Mani. All of us are in the pursuit of happiness and that's what this show is all about. I welcome you to the 26th episode of Draw Happiness. Today we're going to be talking about a very beautiful concept called listening and being present. Let me start with my own personal journey on this subject. I have a lot of friends and acquaintances. Now all of them have told me much as unlikable, there is one thing I could correct in my personality which is I tend to interrupt conversations. So when I started getting this consistent feedback, I started observing myself. And that is when I realized that I was not doing this intentionally. Many a time, I would complete their sentences and my intention would be to save their time and mine and uh, get to the point. But that made the other person feel not heard. They felt disrespected. Some of them felt their points of view were dismissed. Not good, right? Especially when your intention is not that. So from the time I was mindful of it, I've started making a very conscious change. Now, have I been super successful? I don't know because there are times I slip, but I am better than I used to be and I'm in the process of correcting this. Similarly, when you start looking around you with this particular point in mind, we will start observing a lot of things happening around us. People might not necessarily mean it, but disrespect is shown in many circumstances. For example, in a social gathering or family time, even professionally, in discussion, somebody will pick up their mobile phone and start looking into it. Whether one is reading a text, watching some video or playing a mobile game, it is still a form of disrespect because the other person does not feel acknowledged. Similarly, in a conversation, personal, professional, let the other person complete their sentence or trail of thought. One, they feel heard. Two, they feel acknowledged and respected. And that is very important. And in arguments or strong conversations, it is very respectful to hear the other person's point of view whether you agree or not. Because if you cut them short, it could be misunderstood as being dismissive. That's not nice, is it? Like we say, treat people the way you like to be treated. Would you like to be disrespected, dismissed, interrupted? Not really, right? So the next time you're interacting with others, just be mindful of it. It makes them happy because they feel respected and what does it do to you? It makes you likable, thereby you'll feel happier too. Of course, another way to feel happy is drawing a beautiful column. Today's column that we have for you is Kanta, the beautiful or desirous one. Before we go to the design of Kanta, think that happy thought.
Did you like the design of Kanta? If yes, you know the protocol, please press the like button and leave us a comment because feedback is very encouraging and motivating for us. You could give me a regular dose of dopamine too. Draw Kanta, take the picture and share it with us on our website kolampoto.com under the category of draw happiness along with your happy thought for the day. 108 days to a happier space. Let's do this together because a happier you means those around you are slowly going to get happier and eventually we can build a happier society. So let's join hands and make this happen. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Let's pick the happy thought. Nandini Ganeshan, she's from Malaysia and such a regular with Kolam Pode. Thank you for your happy thought, Nandini. Getting to spend an entire day with family after so long. Lots of us missed our family during Corona, didn't we? Of course, it is lovely to see family after such difficult times because not everyone is blessed to have family all the time. So cherish them while you have them. Let's make her happy thought the happy bird for the day. So our pretty Kanta is almost ready. Isn't she beautiful? The beauty Kanta joins her friends and with that, life is beautiful if we choose for it to be. I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode of Draw Happiness. So until then, Kholam Pode.